So in Ravi movement, the first session is going to be to open up the breathing, as it is in Ravi. So if you would take a deep breath. Ravi movement works with the habitual movement habits of the body. Ravi movement work takes you more into the pattern so that the brain understands it can register what is habitual, which you don't tend to feel, and it registers it as being tight or constricting. It will then take that area out into a more relaxed, less effortful, looser position. So again, take a deep breath, buddy. And breathe out. So I'm taking the body into its pattern. Deep breath. And exhale bit more into the pattern. Now we're going to bring it out. Take a deep breath and exhale between my hands. Can you compare them? Mm-hmm. What's the sensation? It just feels like there's more space in between this area. And that's how it looks. This is a re-education of the brain. It is a feedback loop. The kind of manipulation that we use is designed not only to take the body into an exaggeration of the existing pattern, but it is also designed to access the feedback loop from the body to the brain and change what the brain is saying to the body about where it should be in space. For instance, what is straight, what is not straight, what is upright, what is not upright. Sometimes people on a computer will feel that they have to go down like this in order to work the computer. All of these postures will result, if prolonged, and if, if they go unchallenged, those postures are going to end up being habits and the body will continue to use those habits even if it's causing pain to the structure.